Hello again from my front porch. Uh, it's a, and it's a gorgeous, beautiful day here in Iowa today. So much so that I've even opened the windows uh, here on the front porch. And, and I'm sitting out here enjoying the, the fresh air. Uh, the fre you can smell the, the freshly mowed air. <laughs> and the reason I mention that is because I actually had planned on recording this a little bit earlier today. But then uh, just as I got out here on the porch and was going to do it, then uh, I, I noticed that my neighbor across the street decided it was time to mow. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, that figures. So so then I didn't. I, 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 I uh, didn't obviously record them. Um, but I still want to do, do one today. Uh, and, and, and that's because today is a special day. Now, when I record these, I normally don't make a big deal big deal about what day I'm filming it too, um, uh, unless it's significant, because frankly, there are a lot of times when I film these and I, um, uh, I, I may film it and not post it for a few days after that. <laughs> Sometimes the ones you see are not ones that I filmed on that day. It's just, uh, it's reality. Uh, sorry to let you, sorry to disappoint you if that's the case. Uh, but uh, in this particular case, the date today is, is important. Today is May 15th, 2020. And the reason it's important is because today is my daughter Victoria's 30th birthday. Now I've talked about Victoria before. I've shared the story. We've, I've taken out to visit her at the grave site, uh, you know, before here. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm not going to re, 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 do all that. Although the interesting thing is, um, you know, there, there is a belief that, that, uh, when, as time passes, you get over stuff, and you know, you, you, the, the, what, what's the cliche? Time heals all wounds. See, I, I, I don't, I don't believe that's necessarily the case. I think time, time give, uh, can equip you with coping mechanisms, but I don't believe that the wounds are healed. Uh, certainly not this one, because um, honestly, uh, it, it, it doesn't take much. I still, we, I stop and think about, um, you know, that now it's her birthday, and, and I look back at the pictures. Uh, from the hospital and all from 30 years ago, and I, I I can mentally and emotionally be right there. I can I can I can I I can feel all of that. It's 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 like it was fresh in my mind, uh, like it just happened yesterday. Uh, now, does that mean I think about that every single day? No, no, I don't. But uh, I do. It it like like that. It's all there. So it it does it doesn't go away. It's not healed it's not soothed it's not resolved no it, that that's never ever going to be the case i i i have accepted that but um what 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 i, what I want to share with you though is um with victoria now, now we named her victoria kirsten and um we named her victoria kirsten because um well at the, at the point that we named her it was it was uh, pretty foregone conclusion that she was not going to survive. Uh, she only was, like I said, with us for four short days. Uh, and um, uh, we, we selected the name Victoria Kirsten Smith because, uh, you know, you get those baby name books, you know, and you're looking at what the baby names mean. And we selected Victoria Kirsten because it literally translates as Victorious Christian. And we decided that that was the perfect name for her because she was going to complete the race. She was going to win the prize uh, before the rest of us. She was she she would make it to heaven before the rest of us. And so uh, so we, so we gave her that name. Uh, and 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 that name has been a challenge uh, to me over the years. You know, a personal you know motivator in 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 many ways. Um, but uh, herself, she 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 she, she always. Just in so much uh, about just those those brief four days continues to impact my life today. Not just the the emotions of losing a daughter, but but of all the events around it. It was a tremendous growth. I mean, uh, my wife and I at the time we'd only been married what year and a half, maybe at that point. Um, not even quite two years uh, at the point that all of this stuff happened. Um, no, I guess it had been coming right up on two years. Yeah, yeah, it had been coming right up on two years because um, it would have been the end of May that would have been our anniversary. So we, so we'll just say two years. We've been married two years when all of this happened. That's not very long, long. and we we were married very young. So um, you know, that's 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 some pretty heavy stuff to throw at 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 a, at a, a very young, inexperienced couple. Uh, and we had our daughter Ashley. Uh, already, and so you know, we weren't completely green to the whole parenting thing. 
but that's a whole different ball of wax than having to deal with what we went through and with the decisions that we had to make at the hospital. Uh, and so, uh, you know, there, there was a lot that came out of that that still defines uh, some things about me to this day. Uh, but, you know, uh, her name, Victoria Kirsten, Victorious Christian, that continued to be a driver. I mean, when I was out doing music ministry stuff, going to churches and singing and speaking, that that's what I named it, Victorious Christian Ministry, VCM, Victorious Christian Ministry, named specifically for Victoria. Uh, and, and then years later, as, as I would try other little business ventures, I tried doing uh, kind of some web design business for a while, and that was, uh, what was that, visual communication management, I think, or something like that. Um, and, you know, again, so I could keep using the acronym VCM, which uh, at that point was more of a testimony or call out to Victoria. And then more recently, uh, when I would try to do my own training consulting business for a while, I, I used the VCM acronym again. It was uh, vertical, vertical Consulting and Management. I, mean, I don't know. I forget what the acronyms mean after a while. But still, the point is I tried to keep using uh, her, her, that, that VC, that victorious Christian, I kept trying to, to, to hang on to that, to keep reusing that. Um, and, and it wasn't just cliche. It wasn't just, well, it's my way of keeping your memory alive. It's because there, there, there's a challenge there. There, there was, uh, uh, you know, an encouragement to me to, to want to, uh, to, to, to live up to, to my daughter's name. And I know that may sound odd, it may sound weird, but but for me it, it, it was it was important, it was special, which which is also why um, uh, you know when when I was when I was diagnosed diabetic, type two diabetic, and I started taking it seriously and changed my diet radically and made lots of changes, and I uh, uh, and 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 I drove that down, you know, from the A one C scale, I was at a fourteen, and it's a fifteen point scale, uh, so I went from a fourteen, and I wound up ultimately driving that all the way down to 5.4. Uh, and, and it was just, my, my doctor was blown away. Was, was, so that was one of the, one of the best, uh, most dramatic in a short period of time transitions uh, that, that, he had, that he had seen. Uh, and, it, and it was fantastic. Uh, and and uh, the, the 6.5 is actually the point where if you're over 6.5, you're diabetic. And if you're under, well, you're not diabetic. So at 5.4, I was very much below that line. I was very much not diabetic. Uh, however, I stayed on my metformin pills, and, and the reality is, I, I I was still diabetic. I just wasn't in the diabetic range <laughs> because of the changes that I had made, and and I was I celebrated that as 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 a victory, as 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 something that my daughter would be proud of, uh, and, and you know because that, that was that was how I how I see her, how I how I envision her name being embodied. Uh, you know, that the, when, when there's a uh, time of victory, when there's a time of, of, of achievement, a time of conquering something, of overcoming something, that's, that's what pops in my head. Uh, Victoria and her name, Victorious Christian. Uh, and and so, so that's what that was for me, which is why, you know, I'm a little, I'm kind of ashamed today to, to um, you know, point out that over the last several months, I uh, was not being as diligent uh, about those things as I should have. And so I actually have wound up putting on about 27 pounds, which doesn't make me... And you can see in my face, I've, I've, I'm starting to get the, the baggy under the chin again. I had gotten rid of that. And I, and I liked the way I looked. And my, my cheeks getting rounder again. And, and now some say that I look better, that I look healthier, that I look too thin before. I, I, I don't know. Point is, I don't, I don't like all this extra around my face. And the only way I get rid of that, and I don't like the extra down here either. <laughs> the only way I get rid of that is by getting back on track with those, with those things. Fortunately, I was the doctor yesterday and my A1C is still not in the diabetic range. Yeah, good. good. But it went up a whole point. It went from 5.4 to 6.4. So I'm not in the diabetic range because that's 6.5, but I'm just barely uh, not not in that range. And so I'm not I'm not moving in the right direction. We'll, we'll, we'll say that now. You know, too much weight, blood sugar up, and so I got to reverse that course. Now some would be, oh man, what am I going to do? Is it going to be so? But see, for me. I, I am. I mean, I know it's. I know it's not easy, uh, but I've done it. But more importantly, I'm. I'm still continually challenged 
by my daughter's name, Victorious Christian. I'm still driven by the desire to to be victorious, uh, and 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 believing that I can overcome this, believing that I can I can address this, that I can I can I can I can do this. Now again, I know I can do it because I've already done it, and then I slacked. But still, even at that, it'd be easy for me to just be like, well, you know, maybe this is the best I can do. No, no, I know I can do better, and I will do better because I will be victorious. Uh, this is not the first time in my life that I've faced a challenge, and it's not going to be the last, I'm sure, either. Uh, it's not the first time that, that my daughter has been an inspiration for me to seek to overcome an obstacle, and I'm sure it won't be the last for that either. <laughs> but today, on her 30th birthday, uh, I, 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 I acknowledge her. I, 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 I express my love for her, even even though uh, you know I haven't seen her for 30 years. Uh, and um, you know, I would love to just wrap my arms around her and give her a big hug. Uh, obviously, I can't do that physically, um, but she's always in here. I'm always I'm always holding her tight in here, uh, and um, and she continues to be my inspiration. That on the on this day, as I as I as I you know discuss that I have slacked, that I have not reached my mark in in areas of health, she continues to be uh, a motivator for me to. Get back at it, and 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 reconquer that. That it can be done, and it will be done. I will be victorious. All right, that's all I had for you today. I'll see y'all next time from my front porch.